in a professional world, I think I understand, you know, genuine friendship and uh, good, considerate two-way relations with the people you work for and who work for me. Um, I, I, I would not normally use the word love in that context, but I, I think I know, you know, how you have relationships which are a good deal more than just mechanical and uh, um, utilitarian. And in a work context, um, you said that you you think you you know you've experienced what it means to to have the kind of relationships that you might not use the term love, but mm. but that are that type of relationship. Is is there anything? Um, is there a different meaning of love in in the work context? For you? Well, I think I think there are certain elements. I think sort of loyalty, you know, sense of personal loyalty to people and them to you. I mean, in this office, for example, I mean, I have um, four people who are working for me, um, who have been working for me pretty much since I became an MP 12 years ago. Mm. And uh, uh, I'd like to think they feel secure and um, you know, enjoy what they're doing, and I trust them completely. And, uh, uh, and that's, so, I, I, mean, I, th I think that is exceptional to have those kind of relationships mm. at work, but I think it, it's, it's clearly more than just work. Mm. Mm. Okay. And have, have you ever told a colleague at work that you love them? No, no, I, I haven't. And I think mm. it would probably be misunderstood if I did, yeah. <laughs> because it has those uh, sexual overtones. And if it was a woman, it would certainly be misunderstood. And with a man, probably even more so. So, no, I wouldn't use that language mm. about colleagues. No. Yeah. yeah, okay. And do you ever say things like, oh, I, I love my job? No, I, I love, I love. What I'm doing. Oh yes, that, that's yeah. that's how I would, you know, in a kind of more abstract way, I would yeah. feel very comfortable with it. Yeah. I think I'm in a very fortunate position to to be intimately linked with love in the businesses that I am a part of. I've got a commercial endeavour which is around events and speakers agencies and also financial recruitment and I also have a charity called the Bright Ideas Trust which is where we are now which is all about supporting young people in their businesses who are from difficult backgrounds who would never get the opportunity to do so. In the latter Everything we do, I think, is driven by love, and I'm talking about the compassion, the trust, and the, the, the focus on helping other people. Well, what do you think is the place of love in business, and do you think there is a place for love in business? Um, I think, if you're talking about from uh, a quite entrepreneurial standpoint, it has to be a prerequisite, almost, of, of the business that you're going to go forward if it's going to be successful, in my humble opinion. For me, uh, love in the workplace is ensuring that my workers are happy and that they're individually flourishing. And one of the things people often say to me is, you have the most extraordinarily motivated workforce. And then the other thing they say is, how is it that they all think they're boss? Actually, that is the biggest compliment of all because really what it shows is the team that I'm working with feel the organization is theirs and they're in charge of it so I'm happy that they all feel like they're boss yeah yeah so I think uh, just really literally adoring your workforce and um, celebrating their talents their existence what they produce, they just make me very happy. Our staff retention is amazing. 90% uh, of the people who started with me 14 years ago are still here. And you know, we've never had to advertise. Uh, people are queuing up to work here, I have CVs waiting. In 14 years I've only ever had to advertise twice. One was a, for a social work manager and another one for a PA for the business manager. Other than that, it's just word of mouth, people wanted to work here. And even people, if they leave and they go travelling or whatever, they recommend someone else to come and work. <laughs> it's brilliant. And do you ever use the word love 
in your boardroom or in management and team meetings? Yeah, everywhere. It's even in our um, documentations, you know, in relation to how we describe the organisation, uh, our communications to the outside world. In fact, our catchphrase is delivering unrelenting love, you know, and um, yeah, it's absolutely articulated. One of the things I think that's important in a business is, is clear, open and honest communication. You know, when, when, when it's tough, tell them it's tough. Don't pretend it isn't, because they know. You know, when we're having to consider redundancies, and we've done it twice, you know, at the beginning of the, of the you know, I called them all together and told them why. Mm. You know, yeah. and actually named the people after they'd gone, after we did it all properly, and then spoke about each of the, there weren't hundreds of them, you know, there were six or seven, I think, on the first time. But I actually mentioned their names, because I think so many businesses pretend they didn't exist. You know, mm. and redundancies are anonymous. They're not anonymous. They're their friends. Yeah. yeah. They work with them. Do you ever say, "I love my job. I love this company and organisation." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I only said it yesterday to my ops director. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and what do you think is the place of love in business? Um, drive, energy. Um, commitment, enthusiasm, passion, passion. I mean, love, passion, it's one and the same, isn't it? I think given this next five or ten years, that doesn't happen. I think we're in big trouble. 
I think we're in serious trouble. I think you know the NHS and the social care environments show that because you know what happens in in cold climates. And, you know, this is more than a cold climate; it's almost an Arctic climate. Is you know managers get tougher. You know they behave more macho. Something in the NHS. You know they become more tougher, more macho. They cut with things that matter. You know, um, you know, training, you know, development of staff, 